One morning, Gordon was in the yard taking on a large supply of coal. That's the third load of coal you've had today, Gordon, said James. Some might say you're being rather greedy. I'm an important engine, replied Gordon. Important engines need plenty of coal, but I doubt if you would understand that, James. James snorted and went about his work. Later, Gordon was taking on water from a standpipe because the water tower was under repair. I wouldn't drink too much of that water if I were you, Gordon. It might give you boiler ache. <laughs> said Gordon. What's this? Educating Gordon Day? First James, now you, Duck. Big engines have big needs. Little engines are just annoying. Don't say I didn't warn you, laughed Duck. Later, Gordon steamed into the yard at the big station. That's what I need, exclaimed Gordon. There, emerging out of the sheds, were two shiny tenders. Now, if I had two tenders, said Gordon, I wouldn't need to stop so often, and I wouldn't have to listen to silly little engines. Those tenders belong to a visitor, replied his driver. Diesel sidled up alongside. Everyone knows that tenders are a mark of distinction, but I'm afraid that no amount of tenders will save you in the end. We diesels are taking over, and we don't need tenders to make us important, not even one. Gordon was most upset. He was feeling just the same next day. I'm not happy. I know, said Duck. It's boiler ache. It's not boiler ache, protested Gordon. It's... Of course it is, interrupted Henry. That water's bad. Have a good washout. Then you'll feel a different engine. Your boiler must be full of sludge. Don't be vulgar, huffed Gordon. He backed down onto his train, hissing mournfully. Cheer up, Gordon, said Sir Topham Hatt. I can't, sir. Is it true what Diesel says, sir? What does he say? That Diesels are taking over. Don't worry, Gordon. That will never happen on my railway. One more thing, sir. Why did the visitor have two tenders? Because he lives on a railway with long distances between coaling depots. Gordon felt better. But Henry started complaining. He banged some cars angrily. I always work hard enough for two, he puffed. I deserve another tender. Duck whispered something to Donald. He was going to play a trick on Henry. Henry, he asked, would you like my tenders? Yours? What have you got to do with tenders? All right, said Duck. The deal's off. Would you like them, Donald? I wouldn't deprive you of the honor, replied Donald. It is a great honor, continued Duck thoughtfully, but I'm only a tank engine. Perhaps James might... I'm sorry I was rude, said Henry hastily. How many tenders have you, and when could I have them? Uh, hmm. I have six, and you can have them this evening. Six lovely tenders, chortled Henry. What a splendid sight I'll be. Henry was excited all day. Do you think it will be all right? He asked for the umpteenth time. Of course, said Duck. They're all ready now. The other engines waited where they could each get a good view. But Henry wasn't a splendid sight at all. His six tenders were very old, dirty, and filled with boiler sludge. Had a good washout, Henry, called a voice. That's right. You'll feel a different engine now. Henry was not sure, but he thought the voice belonged to Gordon. 